Okay. I wanted to do a video about critical thinking. Uh, let's think critically together, shall we? Okay. Uh, does it make sense that he who produces a uh, billion tons of steel a year with well in excess of 300 military uh, armaments factories, major ones, and that's just Norinco. And there's, no, there's other subsidiaries uh, that belong to the uh, CCP regime of their armaments production. So <clears throat> we're talking perhaps maybe 500 or more factories, major factories, major. And that's not counting these smaller ones. So does it make sense that he who produces the most steel in the world, uh, much bigger than the next uh, 20 countries combined, and has the factories to produce armaments? Oh, and the shipyards, too. They got 1,200 shipyards. Uh, while we, on the other hand, only have four military shipyards, and we have barely over a dozen major armaments factories. They're trying to reopen more quickly that were closed down, but they're not going to be able to do it quickly because it takes time to reintegrate the production machinery, the precision tools, all the stuff you need that our enemies make that we can't get. Uh, does it also make sense that he who controls resources and commodities also makes the rules, like in Russia's case? Uh, does it also make sense that <clears throat> they who have <clears throat> massive militaries far in excess of the collective West combined, does it also make sense that they make the rules? Does it make sense that we who are on the verge of collapse, that when we collapse, <clears throat> there will be no tax money to fund any manner of war machine you can imagine? Does that make sense? Does it make sense that when we collapse and our enemies don't collapse because they're doing business with each other and they're not any longer dependent upon the Western financial system does, and, and trade systems? Does it make sense that they don't collapse when we do because all we have is worthless paper to offer and they actually produce things and have commodities? Does that make sense? I mean, let's think critically. Does it also make sense that when we collapse... Again, no tax money to fund a lavish, large military. And we have a shrinking, depleted military anyway. Uh, and our enemies have exceeded us in tech, numbers, and everything else. Does that make sense to people? Do they understand that when we collapse, we will literally have nothing remaining? Nothing? 